In this video, we are going to know about top 10 glasswares which are used in laboratory in common basis in a general way, especially in the microbiology laboratory. So let's get started. Hey everyone, this is Agam Singh Sisodia. So what is the purpose of knowing these glasswares? The actual purpose is that whenever you are going to any laboratory or any microbiology laboratory for example, then you just have to know the name of glassware. If somebody or the professor told you that you just have to bring out a conical flask or you just have to bring out a glass rod, then you just have to know that which, what is glass rod, what is the conical flask, what is the beaker. So the purpose of this video is to solve the introductive part of the glassware. We just have to know the glassware, which type of glassware is there which we have to bring what is the purpose of that glassware so we are going to know about all this okay so starting with the point one or the first glassware one by one we will go to serially to all glasswares okay so let's start with the first one that is conical flask cone shape as it is a cone shape and that's why it is known as conical flask why uh, what is the use of this conical flask Conical flask is used to store different type of liquids such as in, in this uh, conical flask it is a 100 ml I had the filled with some aqueous solution as such in microbiology uh, we can use this these conicals for preparation of culture media as you can see this is the culture media for uh, specialized bacteria such as EMB agar it is there so it is used for preparation of culture media okay uh, for storage purposes this is the conical flask this uh, can be available in different sizes as you can see this is the 2000 ml conical flask there are lots of size where i we, uh, use them according to our use which one we are suited for okay next one is the petri plates or the culture plates you also know about that these are the petri plates as you know uh, these are used for the uh, for the solidification of culture media on them and the growth of bacteria or microorganisms on them uh, as such, uh, this is a blank petri plate and I have a filled petri plate. This is the petri plate which has culture media in it on which the bacteria is growing on. Okay, So these are the petri plates which are used for culture growing. And they, they are also available in different sizes. As you can see this is the small petri plate and this is the large petri plate. So according to their use, there are different petri plates also. Next one is the dropper. This is also the glass dropper used for uh, dropping different chemical, different solutions such as HCl, H2SO4, different type of high, uh, lower bases, lower or higher bases or acids. Okay, so this is also a glassware. Next one, this is the round bottom flask. We can say it in different ways also, but this is why we are saying it round bottom flask because round is the bottom and this is the flask why we are using it because it contains a neck which is narrow so when we put the media culture media or any type of media or any type of solution in it then due to this shrinked neck most of the contamination is reduced here only and this is the same principle occurs with the test tubes also when we use test tube why we use test tube in preserving cultures because test tubes contain a lower surface area why we don't preserve the cultures in the petri plates because petri plates are of larger surface area that's why contamination chances will be there more in the petri plates so we use these type of a flask for more culture as it contains a little surface area and a little amount we can carry it on but in this we can make a large amount of culture media or any type of solution for preventing it from contaminating okay now the next one that we are talking about is the reagent bottles there are different reagent bottles also that uh, they contains a cap on them reagent means we have to fill the solutions the reagent solution with the chemicals reagent which can react okay so these are uh, used for chemical storing okay uh, they are also available in this conical shape also there are different uses we can store anything in them okay next thing is that uh, the glass rod there are different size of glass rods which are available one one thing also that this is the small this is a thin and uh, this is the larger one there are different variety of glass rods why we are using glass rods because as uh, you can see that 
if the material in that uh, i will i want to dissolve something there then i just have to use this glass rod okay so glass rod is used for dissolving purposes okay now next thing is the measuring cylinder we just if you want to measure something that for example we we just want to measure this so we have to measure it up to whatever level we want if you want uh, 94 or 95 which whatever you want want we just have to measure from this with the help of this measuring cylinder okay this is used there are different varieties of measuring cylinders also as you can see that uh, this is 100 ml this is 500 ml measuring cylinder and this is 10 ml according to our use we can use it this is measuring cylinder okay next one is the slides the slides as you know all you know that uh, these there are different type of different variety of slides um there are plain slides also this is a plain slide only the plain they are used for bacterial smear making for visualizing different type of bacteria or any microorganisms on under the microscope these slides are used as you know but there is a different category of slide there which is known as a cavity slide as you can see see there cavity slide cavity slide why we are uh, calling it cavity because as you can see that in the uh, middle that there is a cavity the cavity is used for uh, actually for um, seeing the mortality of the bacteria the hanging drop method uh, in which we can see the mortality of the bacteria that's an another topic but uh, this is used for mortality seeing the mortality of the bacteria or any microorganisms okay now the next thing is the test tubes there are lots of variety of test tubes there that this is the bigger one this is the smaller one and this is the more smaller one there are different variety of test tube according to their use according to their purposes for which we are using it okay now and another thing uh, related to test tube is the centrifuge tubes these are the tubes used for centrifugation when we do the centrifugation then they requires the centrifuge tubes from which the liquid sample is collected so that the supernatant is collected at the top and the pellet is collected at the bottom so these are the centrifuge tubes leakage proof okay another thing uh, in the relation to glass rod is also the l spreader which is we use for the spreading purposes in uh, microbiology as we have to grow the culture then we have to spread it okay spread plate method you also know about that uh, 2 2000 ml beaker uh, 5000 ml beaker 100 ml beaker there are different size of beakers also so and there are many more things small small things but these are the common things which we use this is also the flame uh, in which spirit is filled up or we can fill the acetone or alcohol for it is flammable for this uh, we can apply the heat here and uh, this will burn off and we can use it for any different type of uh, laboratory practices so these are the glassware which are used in microbiology or any laboratory in a regular purposes there are different type of glassware as we can name the uh, micro pipettes uh, sucking pipette uh, and uh, distillation units there are different varieties of things but these are the generalized things which are used in microbiology in the daily practices or in any laboratory in the daily practices so you just have to know the name of all of them because they are very important for you when you are going in any laboratory practices such as microbiology you just have to know the name if anybody said that you just have to carry out a, a conical flask or a petri plate you just have to know the name what is the petri plate what is the conical flask what is the beaker what is the test tube what's the measuring cylinder you just have to know the name of all of them so that's all about the introduction of these top 10 glasswares which we used in the laboratory i hope this video is helpful for you if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and if you have any query then you can ask in the comment box down below and if you have any friend then share this video with them and if you haven't subscribed the channel then subscribe the channel to get more interesting videos such like that thank you so much for watching see you soon